Hi, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For uh, today's tutorial, I will be demonstrating how to knit the Erin sweaters front and back. I, am, I have binded off the underarm for this one and I haven't decided. I think this is going to be a front. <laughs> okay, and uh, I have uh, knit and it's ready to I'm ready to demonstrate how to do the one knit one purl moss stitch. There's purl between cable stitches, four stitches, and then there's uh, purl stitches between. And then we're going to be making V's to make a diamond. And then we're going to do moss stitch, one knit one purl between, and then purl stitch again, the four stitch uh, uh, cable stitch purl stitch and then again 24 stitches of honeycomb as we did the sleeve it's going to be the same and then uh, it's going to be the repeat so what we add on the front and the back is just the diamond to create this lovely 3d look Aaron sweater okay so I will be demonstrating how to start the pad the stitches there are a couple of different ones just when you compare it to the sleeve the diamond is just extra so this is going to be extra in between. Okay, so let's get started. Before I get started, uh, I did re uh, mention about the yarn that I'm using. It's super soft merino uh, um, cashmere blend. And it's gorgeous yarn. And for the cast on, uh, uh, for doing the Elastic City, the, the elastic part, we use smaller needles and when you come to the body we always go jump into a bigger needle. Uh, for this one I think this is a 5 and then I will jump to a 6 or 7. Can't read the, as I mentioned before my Addy, the numbers are erased but when I use my tool I think this is a 8. Okay so uh, it will do the work and it will create this lovely work. And the yarn that I, how many yarns you, we, you would need? Uh, I would say about 1200 gram. I mean one, one kilogram 200 gram. So I had about 12 of this. So these are about a hundred gram each. And I'm doing two ply. I'm just using two, two of these balls to make the two to apply. Okay, so let's get started. For the sleeves we cast on a total of 40 stitches and for the back and for the front body that we're, we're knitting is uh, adding up to, uh, for the Elastic City, uh, 88 stitches. At the moment I have 87 so I can increase any time between as uh, I usually don't increase because uh, I'm going to be switching to a bigger needle so that will make the increase but uh, for the stitches uh, we need 88 stitches so I will increase between any time when I'm making the pattern if you even have 85 you can increase between it won't, it won't, it won't be a big different okay so what we need to do is we're going to as I uh, made my notes here just going to go over my notes and uh, we're going to be knitting seven stitches of one knit one purl so I have my uh, not going to knit the, the first one so I'm, so I'm going to be knitting Let's see well, I see a knit so I'm going to do the opposite I'm going to do a purl stitch yarn on the front and I'm going to do a knit stitch yarn on the back so what you see is I'm going to do opposite total of seven stitches and then we're going to be doing three stitches of purl stitch yarn on the front one two three and then we're going to do the cable stitch as you remember on the sleeve we need four stitches to do the cable stitch and I'm just going to use my regular cable tool needle 
and have the two stitches resting on the front and then knit the two stitches and then come back and knit those two stitches that are resting yarn on the front my window is open it's pretty hot in today and uh, it's not, I'm getting a nice breeze if I close my window it's, it becomes hot and I don't want to go to the basement because it's pretty cold down there <laughs> okay so we did the cable stitch now we're going to be knitting total of four pearls yarn on the front one two three four and then we're going to do that diamond that diamond here so to, to, to do that diamond we do we do a cable here we change the two stitches as we did the cable so it's the similar so we're going to be twisting two stitches at a time so I'm going to grab my cable needle and then I'm going to be getting two stitches yarn on the front have them rest knit two stitches and then knit the remaining two stitches yarn on the back okay so we created that diamond the beginning of that diamond and then we're going to be knitting total of five pearls yarn on the front One, two, three, four, five. So perhaps you're hearing those, the birds. <laughs> They're singing. Okay, so we're going to create another uh, cable stitch. So grab the two stitches and then have them rest. And then knit two stitches yarn on the back. And knit the two stitches remaining yarn on the back. Okay, so we're going to be knitting purl stitch yarn on the front. Two purl stitches. One, two. Okay, then we're done. But we're done this part. Now we're going to do the 24 honeycomb stitch. Remember we did the sleeve. It's the same. Nothing different. So we're going to make this middle part. The honeycomb. Okay. So I need my... <clears throat> cable needle so what we're going to do is same as we did the cable stitch we're going to get grab the two stitches on the front and we're going to knit yarn on the back knit two stitches and then we're going to come back and then knit so uh it's a similar on that we did on the uh, sleeves. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't edit. I don't plan what, when I'm doing my tutorials. So uh, it comes by my heart. <laughs> and uh, sometimes I go, oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's all natural coming out. Nothing planned, nothing edited. <laughs> I don't even know how to edit my videos. I just load them and I... <laughs> I'm not good at computers. I just found out how to load pictures from my Instagram, uh, from my uh, from my laptop. <laughs> Cause uh, yeah, my cell it's not working. Okay, so we did the two. Now we're gonna slant it towards this way, and then we're gonna knit the two stitches. Yarn on the front. I'm sorry, yarn on the back. And then knit the remaining two stitches. So 
So this is going to be total of 24 stitches and we total we did total of eight stitches now. Okay, we're going to we're going to repeat that number 1 that we did. So let's call this number 1 and then number 2. So there's going to be total of 3 of them. So number 2 and then we're going to do number 3, but number the, the number 2 honeycomb is going to be this number 1 repeat. Two stitches uh, resting on the front, yarn on the back, knit. Just do knit stitch on the right side of the work and then we do the purl stitch on the wrong side of the work. Then we knit the remaining that is resting. Okay. So we're going to grab the two stitches and have it rest on the back. Then knit the remaining two stitches that are resting and resting. Here we go. It can be tight because we're also changing from smaller needle to a larger needle. But it will be comfortable later on later on so we're doing the last honeycomb set of three so there's a total of three sets number one number two and then we're going to do number three two stitches on the front resting oops what did i do here we go Then grab these two. And then we're going to grab So have these rest on the back. Knit the two and then grab the two stitches and then knit those two. Okay, so we're done with the honeycomb. So we're going to repeat. We're going to do Two purl stitch we were short one stitch so I need to grab a stitch somewhere here yeah uh, I can do that at the end too but I would want it to, wanted it in the middle I'll do it at the end or I can do any time yeah I can do it at the end Okay, so um, we did the two purl stitch, and now we're going to do the cable, four stitches of cable, two, two. So, or I can add it from here. That's what I'll do. I'll just grab a stitch from here, like this. And then I will knit the two. This way it won't be noticed. Okay. So we have knitted the two stitches. This is the cable stitch. Okay, two, two, four. And then now we're going to be knitting a total of five purl stitches. Two, three, four. 
this is the the reason we're making knitting so many because we're going to be creating the diamond remember the diamond that we make in the between okay so we're going to do the V again and then we we'll grab the two stitches and then knit the two stitches and then come back and knit the two stitches so we start the diamond and then we're going to be purling four stitches total of four stitches and after the four stitches we're going to be making a cable total of four stitches okay I want to show you a trick yeah see there's an there's a I don't like these yeah I don't like them at all what I do is I uh, I'll show you a trick let me just go back I need a little bit more uh, okay okay what I'm gonna do is I'll show you a trick to get rid of this because uh, when you knit this knot always comes out and it goes usually on the front whatever you do you try to weave it you try to hide it it doesn't work and I hate that so what I do is if you're knitting with a wool it's great because you can always work it I felt it and um, I get rid of these uh, this this knot that that bothers me yeah I'm always trying to find a new way so okay here we go so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put this on a needle. And I'm just going to go grab the other end. Grab the other end of the yarn that the, they made the knot. You pay so much money for this yarn and then, well, they felt it. They spin it right, so must be the end of the... They can then felt it like I do, but they need more manpower, I guess. So you just go like this. Oh, drop the needle, that's okay. And then just pull this and you just wet. You just wet your hand. I have water with me. <laughs> so just wet your hand and then a little bit you just need a little bit just a little bit yeah and that's enough just wet it and rub it just rub it rub it with your uh it's hard for me to show it on camera but yeah you go like this you rub it between your two hands and it will felt see it's already gone see and you just knit it and that's all to it and then you don't have to worry about the knot coming out just bothers me so much so we were doing um, the four pearl one two three four and then we're going to do two cable one cable two stitch at a time again just grab this two needle two stitches on the front knit the two stitches come back and grab those two stitches and then knit those two when you wet the yarn it will be kind of tough to knit it but it will look nice okay after doing the cable we're going to be doing three stitches of pearl two so I have less this happens yeah even when you count so many times it happens we're going to be adding more stitches here so uh, we're going to be knitting one two three pearl stitch as we did at the beginning we did seven one one pearl one knit and then three pearl now we're going to be doing two four so there's two stitches missing and uh no worries one two three three so I'm just 
just gonna knit this as a pearl. Grab this from here. That will make one. And then I will make one another at the end. Okay, so it has to be one knit, one pearl, one knit, pearl. So when you're doing the back, you just knit what you see. And then continue just knitting like this until the length you want. Uh, you can go back to the sleeve referral that I have showed you. It's the similar, so I'm not going to repeat it. If you will have problems with the honeycomb, you can go to the sleeve. Uh, I did a a couple of rows showing demonstrating or else the video takes forever and um, I have to finish this ASAP because it's been over two weeks now and I have to ship it to Australia so go back to my uh, sleeve I put the link here and if you have trouble and uh, to knit the cable stitch and the honeycomb stitch it's, it's the similar and then knit as long as you want, I knit a total of uh, just over 15 stitches, uh, inches, about 17 inches long, and uh, that's all to it. And uh, I will, uh, I'm going to, yeah, I forgot to mention, I have to show you the diamond, okay. So just continue knitting this way, and I will come back to show you the diamond, because uh, the diamond was not on the sleeve. Yeah. Okay, I am at the part at the front uh, right side of the work. <clears throat> I have knitted uh, seven stitches, one, one knit, one purl on opposite, which you see you do opposite. And then I knitted three stitches purl, yarn on the front, and then the cable stitch. We don't do anything for four rows, two rows on the front. Uh, four knit stitches and then I purled yarn on the front on the on the <clears throat> I'm sorry yarn on the back this is yarn on the front yarn on the front when you're knitting sorry <laughs> and then uh, purl yarn on the front when you're purling okay so we're at the V creating the diamond stitch so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our Grab our cable stitch, and then we're gonna grab the two sti stitches, and we're gonna put them out the back like this, and then we're gonna hold this. And we had five purl stitches here, so we're gonna move this. You can grab another, but you don't need to because it's only one stitch and we move it here and what we do is we knit the two two stitches and then we do a purl stitch that we moved from from this side to the middle yarn on the front and we just grab that stitch here and we do a purl stitch it's gonna be tough because we moved it and then we're gonna do two knit stitches then we're gonna remain the purl stitches and then we're gonna just knit the 24 stitches for the honeycomb, <clears throat> nothing, no difference. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the uh, cable stitch, the four stitch. And we're going to purl two stitches. And then we're going to knit Four stitches and 
and the last four and then we purl the three two stitches knit the cable stitch four stitches okay we're coming to the diamond so there's one two three four five okay where you see the five we're going to be moving this or you can hold your stitch like this with your finger or you can put it on the on the uh, cable cable here and have it rest at the back and then knit the two stitches and purl so the the middle yarn on the front and then purl the two stitches I'm sorry knit the two stitches and then purl the four stitches one two three four yarn on the front and knit so this is the same as the sleeve that we did nothing to it so continue knitting and I'm going to show you at the back what you do cuz uh, I don't want you to get confused as uh, this is the diamond when you're knitting the back what you do is you do the opposite you knit the opposite. When you see a knit stitch, you do a purl. And then for the for the V, these uh, diamond V's, knit, and then the back is purl. As you can see, there's the pearls here. So you just do the purl. So I'll show you at the back. Have knit, I have started knitting the back side of the work, the wrong side. So what you see, you do the opposite for the seven stitches. When you see a knit stitch, you do a purl. When you see a purl stitch, you do a knit. And then you knit the three stitches, which we did the purl on the front. And then the cable is purl stitch. And then four stitches of knit. The front is purl. So I'm at the diamond. So knit here purl two stitches and then we did a purl stitch at the front and at the back is a knit stitch and I see one of the strand is missing so let me just grab that one and we're going to be purling the stitch I have knit I have started knitting the back side of the work the wrong side so what you see, you do the opposite for the seven stitches. When you see a knit stitch, you do a purl. When you see a purl stitch, you do a knit. And then you knit the three stitches, which we did the purl on the front. And then the cable is purl stitch. And then four stitches of knit. The front is purl. So I'm at the diamond. So knit here, purl two stitches. And then we did a purl stitch at the front. And at the back is a knit stitch and I see one of the strand is missing so let me just grab that one and we're going to be purling the stitch pins when you're knitting with two strands of yarn you miss the one and you go back and you pick it up so the knit is going to be purl and then you're just gonna purl the two stitches which is the knit stitch on the back so it's the same when you come all the way here this is the honeycomb so you just do a purl stitch and then when you come to the V the diamond you knit this you the knit stitches are done purl and then the knit you do a purl stitch and then the knit you do two purls and then you do just continue on and when you come to the edge 
you, you do the opposite for seven stitches and continue knitting and I will meet you at the front to grab two stitches from here to bring it in the middle of the diamond. I'm at the front and I have knit up to the to the diamond. What we're going to do is we're going to pick this stitch and I'm just going to put this on my crochet hook because it's only one stitch. I'm going to put that on the back and then I'm just going to knit the two stitches. Oops, my camera's falling. Knit the two stitches. So this is a knit stitch. I'm going to do a purl stitch. If this is a purl stitch, this is going to be a knit stitch. And then I am going to purl the knit stitch. And then with the two stitches, <clears throat> I'm just going to put these here. Then I'm just going to knit that stitch from the other side. So what we're doing is we're moving the stitches to the middle here. As you can see, and we're doing the opposite. We're knitting the opposite what we see to give that one knit, one purl, purl knit. And then knit these two stitches. As you can see, now we have a total of three stitches here. And... We're good. You do the same thing to the second diamond and the back here. And when you turn your work, what you do is you purl stitch the knit stitch. And when you come to those three stitches, you purl, knit, purl. And then you go purl, purl. And then you knit what you see. So I will meet you at the back of the... When we come to the front of the work, we're going to be moving these two stitches in the middle. And then there will be two stitches left here and then we we'll continue on. I'll meet you back when we come here. So continue knitting all the way to the end and just knit the back stitch, the back rung of your work and then I'll meet you back here at the diamond. And don't forget to do the cable stitch because you know, when you come back when you come back you're going to do the cable stitch and then here we're going to do the honeycomb so you can you can go back to the sleeve tutorial where I did the demonstration how to do the second row on the sleeve tutorial I'll put the link here I am back at the right side and uh, to create the diamond again we're going to be putting that stitch we're going to move it in between and knit the two and this is a purl stitch so we're going to knit so the one that we're going to be moving it here it's going to be a knit stitch. So we're going to grab it. And we're going to knit that stitch. Oh, yeah, the two strand. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. We did a it's supposed to be a pearl stitch. So I'm quite sure it looked like a knit stitch. So knit the next one, pearl knit, which you see you do the opposite, and now we're going to be moving one stitch here. That's all we're doing is moving stitches around <laughs> to, to create the diamond. And we purl that stitch 
and then we knit the remaining. That's all to it. We move the stitches around. Okay. And you knit the remaining. This is a, a cable stitch. So what you do is and you knit those two and then you come back and you knit the one that is resting on the cable. Okay, so continue knitting. You do the same thing on this uh, diamond. And then when you you knit the wrong side of the work, and I'll meet you back there to move the last stitches towards here. And we will be having a total of seven stitches in the middle. Now we have five, two, four, five stitches in the middle. So when we move these two, there will be seven. And then after that, we're going to be decreasing to create the diamond look. So I'll meet you back here. I met the diamond again, so I have knit purled the this one stitch, and I am going to be moving this stitch here. So I'm just gonna grab that stitch from the back and then knit the two stitches, the border, and then you see a knit stitch. So this is gonna be a purl stitch. So we have to knit this stitch. Knit. Purl. Knit. Purl. Knit. Purl. So this time we're going to be putting, moving the two stitches to the cable needle and we're going to knit this stitch and this is going to be the last one and we have a total of seven stitches in the middle. So I'm going to come back and knit these two stitches and we are done. So when we come back here we're going to be decreasing. We increased and we're going to be decreasing. By decreasing means we're going to move these stitches back here. Okay, so continue knitting. When you come to the this uh, diamond, do the same. Move this stitch to here and this stitch to here and do the opposite what you see here. Knit the opposite. And I'll meet you back here. I am at the diamond part again, so we're decreasing. I put the needles, the stitches on the needle, cable needle, and then we're going to move one stitch at a time. So purl this, and then knit the two stitches. We see a knit stitch, so we're going to purl that stitch. Yarn on the front. Knit. Purl. Knit. Purl. And what we're going to do is we're going to move this stitch from here to here. So this part is decreasing, this part is going to be increasing. And we're going to knit the two stitches. And we're going to grab that one stitch and we're going to do a purl stitch. Just a regular purl stitch. Okay, so continue knitting and do the same thing here on this diamond, decreasing. Move the stitch from here to here. Then continue to knitting the opposite, what you see. And then move the stitch from here to here. 
and that's all to it. So um, continue knitting and I'll meet you back here. As you can see the diamond is becoming so we're just gonna do the knit stitches for these two and then we're going to be moving this stitch here so we're going to have these two stitches on this needle and then we're going to be yeah it gets tangled up <laughs> yeah here we go and then we're going to be knitting this stitch and moving it towards there and then we're going to knit these two stitches going to knit knit purl knit and this stitch is going here so we're going to grab the cable needle then just going to get it from the back and you just knit these two stitches and then you come back and knit the one stitch And you continue purl yarn on the front and this is how we do the diamond stitch so um, continue knitting all the way and do the same to this one move this stitch here and move this stitch here so you we will have a total of three stitches in the middle and I will come back to show you how to continue to decrease the diamond. Okay, so we're going to move these stitches here. I'm just going to grab my cable needle and grab these two stitches from the front. Knit, purl this stitch, knit this stitch, purl this stitch, and move this stitch. one stitch and so we have only one stitch left knit these two stitches and then grab that one stitch and purl that stitch and we only have one left okay so continue knitting and uh, the Aaron sweater is becoming Aaron. <laughs> the honeycomb and the cable stitch. So do the same on this one. Move this stitch here, purl it, purl this stitch, stitch and move this stitch here and then you will have the same as this one. And I'll meet you back here to decrease the last stitch uh, for the diamond. Okay, so I'm at the last part to decrease the diamond. And what you need to do is just grab your tool. Put these here. Either you can move the stitch here or here. It doesn't matter. Either way would work. But I'm just going to move it here. And 
what you're going to do is my memory card died on me <laughs> so I had to empty it okay I'm back again <laughs> uh, what were we are we were doing is we're just going to make a cross so I moved the stitch that was in the middle and then we're just going to knit these two these two stitches and then grab grab the two stitches that are waiting for us here knit these two stitches and this is all to it yeah So we are done with our diamond. It's crossed. Okay, so continue doing the same one, same uh, same that we have repeated, we have done here. Same process. And when we come back, I'm going to let you knit now because I have to go ahead and knit. <laughs> and um, when you come back, you start from here again. Remember, we uh, we did we started with. Uh, uh, crossing the stitches so this is what we did here so what the, on the next uh, row you are going to be moving the stitch from here to the middle so it's like a repeat so what we do is we move the stitches from here to in the middle and then when we were up to seven stitches or you don't have any more stitches left you're supposed to have one stitch here one stitch here and then when you're done then you you put them back where you borrow them let's say it that way and this is how we create this gorgeous diamond look so continue knitting as long as you want uh, mine was about 17 inches 15 inches is normal but I knit an extra because these wool do they do shrink when you even when you sew them like I'm very pick with my measurements and um, so I knitted an extra two inches just in case because uh, it's merino uh, cashmere and it will shrink a bit and it's so super soft so uh, I did knit extra just in case if you want you can do it the same way uh, so I knitted seven stitches and when I came to the underarm I bind off you can go back and check the sleeve the sleeve underarm how I did it three two one and you continue decreasing till one but uh, for this tutorial I will come back and show you how to bind off this uh, the neck area this is going to be a crew it doesn't matter you can make a crew round uh, collar or turtleneck this is how we do it if you do a v-neck that's different though that's different I do have a tutorial on how to knit a different Aran sweater and I did a v-neck on that one you can uh, you can uh, check my tutorials and it was a couple of years ago you can go if you're doing a v-neck but this is going to be a round or a uh, turtleneck or a crew neck so I will come back and show you how to bind off that uh, that area and then uh, we'll go from there so continue knitting and I'll meet you back. I am at the underarm area. I have knitted all the way up to the underarm. So I'm, I decided I'm going to make this the back, uh, the front of the body. So I will demonstrate how to bind off the neck area. And for the back, it's going to be binding off, like I said before, I usually bind off 3, 2, 1. That's my way of doing. So I'll bind off three here. I'm going to start bind off three and I'll come back and bind off three and I'll knit and I'll bind off two stitches. Come here and bind off two stitches and knit one all the way here and we'll bind off one. Come back one and then I will keep on binding off up till I come to the shoulder area. And then uh, so uh, I will show you how to do that as we knit. So I have a knitted total of uh, one, two, three, four, five, plus a little bit more. If you knit up to here, it's okay, it's, uh, whether how long you want it. If you're knitting a cardigan, you can do that too. You can knit longer. But uh, this is how I did it. And I started uh, the sixth diamond. So uh, I'll show you how to bind off the three stitches. 
It's the similar one that I have did the sleeve. If you go back to the sleeve tutorial, I will put the link below. And uh, you can uh, refer to that one as well. Either you can... I do it like I knit the two stitches purlwise and I put the knit the stitch back to this needle and I knit them to two together again so that's considered as one stitch so this is the second stitch and I knit the two again so three stitches has been kept bind off uh, I, this is how I do it you can do uh, bind off as uh, having the yarn on the back and knitting it uh, this is how I do it you can do can bind off as the way you know it so it's it's not a big deal and I just continue knitting all the way to the end I'm not going to show you all the way to the end so just continue uh, knitting and I will meet you at the end to bind off the three stitches I have knitted all the way so after binding off three I knitted all the way here so I'm going to bind off three stitches like I said, you can bind off as the way you want, as the way you usually do. So three stitches. So I will continue knit. I will continue let to knit for you to go ahead and knit. And if you uh, need some uh, referral or just to have a peek, you can go back to the sleeve section, uh, uh, the, t the tutorial that I did before this one, and you can go back and look at that one. I did. Uh, I taped it every time I came back, as I have to go ahead and knit. And uh, yeah, so you're going to be casting, binding off, uh, when you come here, you're going to be binding off two stitches, and then two, th two, and then one, and then continue binding off one up to the point when you, I will come and show you how to bind off all together. And uh, the way I do it is I measure the sleeve. That's how you have to, because we have to sew the sleeve for the underarm, right? So it has to be, the measurement has to be equal. So you can refer to your sleeves as well. So continue knitting and I'll meet you at the point and uh, we'll see. Well, I'm going to show you how to uh, bind off the neck area on the other part, on the front part of the body. So continue knitting this one and uh, I'll meet you back to uh, bind off the neck area. I have knitted and I'm all I am done so I'm just gonna bind off I just wanted to show you before I bind off and uh, when I measure I just measured it now so it's just over eight inches the way I measure is I measure with the sleeves remember I said at the beginning okay so I sewed the sleeve one of the sleeves and what I do is I go like this I measure the sleeve so we're going to I'm going to be sewing the sleeve and this is how we do it and there's a little bit room to sew this when you turn this and uh, yeah this is the back of the body and when you sew it you need the front as well and you uh, you sew them as well I'm sure you know how to sew it. If you need this <laughs> air sweater, I'm uh, positive that you know how to sew it. So I'm not going to demonstrate how to sew it. Uh, you just sew as a regular sweater that you sew. And then, um, yeah, and then sew these together. So the, this is the back of the body. So we're done with the back of the body. I'm going to go back to the front of the body. And uh, I will show you how to... Uh, bind off. Let me just grab. Oops, I'm all over the place. And uh, I will demonstrate you how to bind off the neck area to create that roundness. Okay. I am at the front of the body. Okay, after knitting, a couple of rows, after three two one one two three four five so after knitting about five more rows 
I am at the neck area so I'm going to be binding off total of I knit it all the way up to here uh, remember the honeycomb stitch was 24 stitches so I'm going to be cast binding off from here so what I did is I divided this so I knitted a total of uh, six uh, stitches from uh, the honeycomb two four six so I'm going to be binding off total of 12 and then just bind off the, the way you know how to bind off and uh, the way I bind off is uh, my uh, my pearl I have the yarn on the front so this is how I bind off one I put the stitch back to the needle two I knit them two, two together three four and then 12. So you should have six more stitches left. I skipped two, so ten. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, Eleven and then twelve. I jumped from ten to twelve. That's That doesn't work. Okay, so we have uh, six remaining left. So what we're going to do is we're going to knit here and when we come back we're going to bind off three stitches. So just continue knitting all the way and I'll meet you back here so after knitting I am back where we bind off total of the 12 stitches what we're going to do is we're going to be binding total of three and then when we come back we're going to bind off two and then when we come back we're going to bind off one and we do continue binding off one stitches up the way so always uh, measure your back. If you start it with your back, measure either part. So we're going to be knitting all the way up to here. We're binding off all the way up to here where, where the diamond was. So when you see the diamond, we're going to be binding off all the way one one stitch. And then we're going to knit a couple of more rows. And then we're going to bind off as we did at, as the back. But we're going to do separately, like we're going to do one side and then we're going to come back and finish the other side. Okay, just to give you uh, more tips. And then so we're binding off a total of uh, three stitches. And then continue knit and I will come back and I'll, I will show you how to bind off the two stitches. Okay, so I'm back. I'm going to be binding off two. Don't forget to bind off one every time you come back here. And then we're going to be binding off a total of two stitches. And then you continue knitting. So I'm going to let you knit. And when you come back, you bind off one here. And when you come back, you bind off another one. So this is going to be here. And then you knit until you come to the length. As I said on this, uh, on this one, on the back. So we're going to be knitting all the way up to here. So we're going to be binding off. Or you can count how many... Yeah, let's do it that way because uh, this is decreasing the diamond. So count how many we have here. So one, just count the one the uh, bind off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve, then thirteen. So thirteen rows. Thirteen. I'm sorry, fourteen. 
I think 14 or 15. It's hard to count. So uh, yeah, you can measure it as well while you're knitting and then come back and knit the other side. Don't forget to bind off one stitches from here and then when you start from here you tie your yarn and then you bind off a total of three stitches and then you knit and you come back and you bind off two stitches and then come back and one and don't forget this and uh, I'll meet you up when we're uh, picking up stitches for the collar. I have knit and done and sewed up the shoulders as you can see this is how it will look like so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be picking up stitches around and you need a circular needle I think this is about 12 inches long so this will do the work and uh, so what you do is you just start from anywhere you want and you need a crochet hook or if you know how to pick a stitch just grab this from here and then make a knot I make double knot I'm knitting with two strands so uh, for the collar I'll be knitting with two strands as well and just to let you know what you have used on the bottom when you when we started I would advise you to use the same needles I use these so it's smaller than the body that we I have knitted we have knitted together <laughs> yeah we did the project all together now where was my okay so what we're going to do is we're going to be picking up stitches. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is uh, with the crochet hook, I need the crochet hook. Just go in and pick a stitch. Just go in and pick a stitch. There's no, I will, I'm not going to give you any numbers, just use your judgment when you pick up the stitches. So don't go into these big holes, just try to pick the small, like small here, small areas. Because when you pick up the stitches from the holes, this will get bigger. This is not a hole, it's from the, uh, it's from the cable that we made. So it's not going to be a hole at all. So this is how you pick up the stitches. So I'm going to continue picking up the stitches with my uh, needle, my knitting needle. So you just go in and grab a stitch randomly. So continue uh, picking up stitches and what we're going to do is we're going to be knitting one knit one purl uh, the twisted way that we did the ribbing. It's going to be how we did the ribbing, the twisted. So it's going to be the same. We're going to be doing a ribbing, twisted ribbing. Okay, so... Uh, continue picking up stitches and I will meet you where we're going to be starting yeah so don't go into these big holes try to pick underneath or smaller ones between I have went around and picked up all the stitches that I have uh, seen. <laughs> so I have a couple of more to go. And I'm just going to just go in and grab a stitch from here. And then from here. Okay. Looks like that's the same spot. Yeah, just go underneath. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to start knitting from here. So one knit, one purl, but we're going to be twisting. It's going to be a purl. As you can see, I have to twist this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the stitch like this and grab it from the back and twist it. The sweater is pretty heavy. It's pulling down. As you can see, it's on the floor and it is pretty heavy. So far I have this about this yarn left. They're all half half. So there are a total of 20, 12 of them. So I would say at least 11 went for sure. 100, 111 gram. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull that out from there. That's going to be a purl stitch. And then I'm gonna, I don't know what happened here, so I'm just gonna, I came, because we're twisting it. So I'm just gonna grab a stitch from here. That's okay, you can do that too. And then I'm going to knit this one. This stitch is a purl stitch, so try to twist it. See? The next one is a knit stitch. This is normal. So you grab it from the back and you twist it. This is going to be a purl stitch from the front. Okay, so continue knitting as long as you want. I would say I would knit about a nine, nine row, about this long. And I'm going to show you how to bind off using my, uh, I do have a tutorial. I will put the tutorial on the, uh, it's called the, the bind off using the one by one tubular method and uh, what I do is I use a needle so I will put the tutorial on how to bind off. I have knitted uh, the collar about uh, nine rows uh, so it's going to be equal to the uh, sleeves and the body. Uh, one by one ribbing, twist ribbing, which I did. And now what I'm going to do is, I do have a tutorial on how to bind off that uh, nice edge, similar to the cast on that we did. So it can be more uh, stretchy and more professional look. Um, if you want, I can do a little demonstration how to do it. I'm not gonna do all the way. So what I did is I measured and I cut my yarn and I put it on a needle. You need a needle like this to work on it. So I will put the link on how to uh, do the uh, one by one uh, binding off technique. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be just going to go from here to here and have secure this one. Gonna jump. Oh, I made a mistake. Forgive me. Okay, so we're gonna be jumping here as to pearl. I've been knitting this sweater so long I forgot to bind. <laughs> oh, it's been uh, over two weeks. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay, and then we're going to come back and we're going to do the same on this one, like to purl. Then we're going to let this first stitch go. And then 
trying to tighten it. And then we're going to go back from here between these two stitches and pull your yarn and we're going to go from between this the stitches this the, the stitch here and then pull it and then we're going to do the same on this one and we're going to let this stitch go You can see it is already becoming. Don't worry if there's a gap, we can fix that at the end. Uh, okay, so this one we're going to skip here as to pearl, have the needle between, and then have this between as well. So what happens is we did two, two uh, section on this, uh, two steps on this uh, stitch. So we're going to let that go. So this is nice and secure and pull it tight. And then we're going to go back. So as you can see, we do a purl on the knit. And then on the purl stitch, we go on between. We do extra steps on this one. We'll pull the yarn. And then you go from between and then from the back you pull it. There's an, just an extra step and this one's already done so we're going to do the same as we did to this one to secure it and then we're going to let that go and pull it nicely like this and as you can see it's already becoming okay let me see if I can have this closer yeah it's already maxed okay and this one is to purl Come back to the one as to pearl. And pull this one tightly. And then go back. So these are the steps. And then pull your yarn. And do the similar to the this one then pull it gently down see so continue if you get stuck go back you can rewind it and then watch it's only two steps like purl and then this one you go between and then you pull that's all to it so I'll uh, continue it's going to be time consuming to do all the stitches to come back here I will show you to close this gap so nothing to worry about okay so I'm at the last stitch and this one is a knit stitch so I'm gonna do a purl have the needle between it's very tight so okay so grab it, <laughs> pull it nicely, and then back to this needle, back to that stitch, pull that one. Always pull it tightly because uh, the yarn is so soft it gets hold on the back, so be sure to pull it. So this is the last stitch and I said there's a, there's a gap so not, not to worry about it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go like this between the first stitch that we did and pull that one like that and then pull this one like this and take the needle and then pull it tightly this and uh, I don't like the way it's looked so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back and then I'm going to do this as to knit and then pull it let's see no it's not working okay there's always a trick so you have to go back and try to figure that out so this one, this one was a knit, so 
I did a pearl. And then so I did a knit. Let me try this way. Okay, now it worked. See? Then you can go, just want to, what you do is you go like between the stitches, you just need to play around with it, and then you create that knit look, see, and then everything looks equal. So for this yarn, we're done. I'm not just going to cut it here, so I'm going to weave it. <laughs> I don't want it to be showing it off. So this is the back of the work. So just try to weave it between the stitches. So we don't want that to popping up. So try to weave that one. Okay, and then after weaving it, you just cut the yarn and you are done with your collar. So I'll uh, sew up uh, the uh, other side and the sleeve. And then I will show you the last look of the Aran sweater. Doesn't this look nice? And finally, the sweater is finished. Yes, indeed. So I have... Sewed everything all together and this is the collar, how stretchy it is, see, you can stretch it as much as you want and it goes back to its gorgeous shape and these are the edges that we did, we worked on, so I did a couple of techniques and this was the other cast on method and the honeycomb, doesn't it look gorgeous? took almost and this is the back of the body well I hope this tutorial give you an idea how to knit this gorgeous lovely Aran sweater 3d look and I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe share it with your family and friends my tutorials and happy knitting!